Now we all know that we need to be prepared when we're traveling in remote areas. And of course, that means having a reliable means of communication. Outside of our major capital cities and our regional centers, our mobile phones, after all, are little more than expensive paperweights. Did you know that most of our mobile networks cover between 98 and 99% of the population? But that only equates to about 20% of the Australian landmass, leaving about 80% uncovered. And of course, that 80% is the area that we all want to explore. So I've decided to look at some options for communications in remote areas. I have the Iridium Extreme satellite phone. I have this Iridium Go smartphone satellite device, as well as a Selfie Go booster, which will essentially boost any amount of Telstra signal from a mobile tower into something useful. I also have a couple of other things that I'd like to have a look at. Now, this is the Drive Dock Extreme. It's essentially a docking station for your Iridium Extreme phone for in vehicle use and it has quite a few features. Finally, we'll have a look at this Garmin InReach Mini Satellite Messenger, as well as this RescueLink 400 PLB or Personal Locator Beacon. To me, a satellite phone is the ultimate communication tool for remote area travels. You'll be able to contact anybody, anywhere. Now this Iridium Extreme is built as the toughest satellite phone handset available from Iridium. And it certainly has a good, solid, you know, chunky feel about it. And nor does it feel overly bulky in the hand like some satellite phones. It feels a little like a mobile phone from the early 2000s. It has a range of features, of course, as well. You can make phone calls, you can send SMS messages, and it has up to four hours of talk time or up to 30 hours when it's on standby. And you can also install up to 100 entries on the internal address book. Now, it's not the cheapest satellite phone on the market, but nor is it the most expensive. They retail for just under $1,900. And of course, look, there are ongoing airtime plans, but that's gonna be the case for pretty much every satellite phone that you get. Now the drive dock enables voice calling capabilities via a full in-vehicle hands-free installation with echo cancelling technology to minimise background noise. So first observation is that the Iridium Extreme satellite phone sits really snugly and clicks into place nicely. And you've got this catch up the top which keeps the phone in place. And to release it, it's just a case of pushing this button and flipping up the clip and you're ready to go. Now the Drive Dock Extreme is designed so that you can use the SOS function of the Iridium handset as well as the handset's GPS tracking functionality just at the push of a button. It has Bluetooth connectivity as well as a USB data interface. You get this little GME speaker to mount within the vehicle and obviously all the wiring and other fittings that you'll need to install it within your car. It's certainly an option for those who are serious about their communications when they're in the outback or the bush. So now we're onto the Selfie Go, so let's have a look at what you get in the box. As mentioned, the Selfie works by picking up on an existing Telstra signal and amplifying it around your vehicle into something that you can actually use. So for example, say you're outside a marble bar, maybe 30 kilometers, um, you can pick up one bar of signal. Well, that might not be enough for what you actually wanna do. So this unit would conceivably boost that into three or even four bars of signal, allowing you to check your emails, stream your favorite TV show or movies or whatever it is that you wanna do on the internet. Now, I personally haven't used one of these units yet, um, but I have spoken to a lot of people who have and they get really good reviews. To power the device, it's just a case of plugging it into your vehicle's existing 12 volt socket, or you can wire it to a separate 12 volt power source if you want. It comes with everything that you'll need to mount it, and that includes the antenna kit. So what would you expect to pay for something like this? Well, the Cellfi car pack retails for just under $1,000. Now, considering this unit won't pick up on a signal that doesn't exist in the first place, you might be, you know, way out of coverage. Um, it's not the ultimate communication tool. Rather, think of it as a handy addition uh, to your UHF setup or your satellite phone setup. And the other major benefit of this is that it's, look, it's a one-time cost. You buy the unit, install it, and away you go. There are no ongoing subscription plans involved.
Now, another option for remote area communication is your satellite messengers. These allow you to send and receive SMS messages. They have SOS functions so that you can press a button and summon the emergency services. Now, this is the Garmin InReach Mini. It's a pocket-sized satellite communicator. It feels solid and strong, like it's not gonna break if you happen to drop it. And you can just put it in your pocket, shove it in your backpack or whatever it is um, when you're wandering away from your caravan. Another satellite messenger that I've come to really like is the Zolio Global Satellite Communicator. It does your two-way SMS messages, but so much more too. It allows you to send a very quick check-in message from anywhere in the world to one of your Zolio contacts. It also lets them pinpoint your exact location through the maps on their smartphone. Of course, you can also alert emergency services, either by pushing a button in the Zolio app or a button on the device itself. The newest feature, Location Share Plus, even allows friends and family to track your journey. Naturally, there are ongoing subscription plans, but they are flexible. And in my experience, this is one of the best satellite messengers available. Otherwise, you could consider a personal locator beacon, such as the ACR Rescue Link 400. PLBs are compact and easy to carry, but they only relay your coordinates to emergency services. However, there are no ongoing fees with personal locator beacons. Now this is the Iridium Go. Now to be honest, I really like this device. It enables satellite connectivity for your mobile devices where terrestrial networks can't. You just simply flip up this antenna and it connects automatically to the Iridium satellite. And better still, you can connect up to five different devices to this unit. Obviously you can only use one device through the Iridium Go at a time, but they will work within a 30 meter radius of the unit. And look, you can take it anywhere shove it in your backpack, even fit it in your pocket. So what do I like about this unit? Well, it supports voice calls, SMS, you've got SOS functionality, you can even get weather updates as well. Now I've had a play with this unit already. The app that comes with it, it's free and it's really intuitive, it's very easy to use. Look, you, obviously you have to be outside so that the antenna um, has a clear line of sight to the sky, but that's the case with any satellite device really. Now, like with the satellite phone, there are airtime plans involved. So it's not like you buy this unit and it's a one-off cost. Um, look, the unit itself, it is on the expensive end of the spectrum, I guess. It's uh, around the $1,100 mark. Um, but if you're serious about your remote area travels, I think this is a really, really good option. And I'll step outside in a second and I'll show you how it works. Now, once the Iridium Go is turned on, look, as long as you've got a clear line of sight to the sky, you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever connecting to the satellite. Now, I know I'm just in my backyard, but once the unit's on, it really is just a case of firing up the free app on your smartphone, and then you can make your SMS messages, make your phone calls, whatever it is that you wanna to do to stay in touch.